New Year's coming up, so happy New Year and happy whatever holiday you celebrate. I uh, just hope you had a good time and shared, shared it with your family and friends. And um, yeah, everyone made it home safe. Um, and yeah, so today I'm going to be showing you guys this stairwell. Excuse me. And answering any questions you guys might have about layout or, and things like that. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around right now and get right into it. Boom. So this is the bottom of the stairwell. Um, I told you guys I was going to build a bit of a soffit. So this is, uh, this is generally like, I mean, when you're using three and five eights and you got to angle it, okay, you we're, this is how we'll do it. Okay. You're going to lay your studs flat like that. Um, just because to, to turn them this way, what you would have to do is, uh, build like a jig or something and put a piece coming out and then angle up your stud. Okay, so you can do it that way. Um, and then the same thing would happen up there. You would have to uh, build a piece um, and put it in this way. I can give you a little bit of an example. Um, boom. So take this for example here. All right. So you have like a little stub, a little stub kind of coming out like this out of your, out of your track. And then you then you would have your um, your stud going up on an angle like so, right? I mean, this would be shorter. It'd be more like over here, okay? And then you would put another one at the top like that. So it would be, it would go like doot doot and straight in, okay? Um, something like that. But uh, here is just a quick little soffit. So the drywall is gonna come straight in here, okay? And then I'm gonna, and then it's gonna butt up to it on the bottom. So for the ends here, I just straight bar it across, okay? So this is this is straight barred across, the same at the top. You can see there, it's straight barred across. So at the top, we're gonna have drywall coming down, a little flat piece, and then it's gonna angle straight in to the, into the little wall there, okay? Um, how you build this, so you can see I ran my top track, my, my top track straight through to the end of where the soffit was going to be. I laid it out all on the ground. So I always lay out my soffits and everything on the ground first, like so, right? And then I can laser it in and I put my top track on, boom, shoot it there. Um, and yeah, that's, that'll work nice. This is going to, this is going to look really nice. Um, for one, uh, sorry, I'll be putting two layers of five eights on the bottom of that. So, uh, and on two layers on this side, and then it's going to be one side of five eights on either side of this wall. Um, but yeah, these rentals, man, oh my goodness gracious. So th this here, this stud actually lands inside. I got to take the screw out up there because it's pushing in, but it lands right in this freaking doorway. And I couldn't move this wall because it, it's already, well, for one, it was already laid out. It was already done. Like up there was already done. So when I came down here, you would assume that the drawings would have been correct, but they, the drawings were not correct and they were out. They were out. So the, the drywall is going to finish into this stupid door frame here. <clears throat> um, I don't know if you guys remember this, but this was all torn to pieces. There was a column in there. Uh, we're going to cut this out and make it square, okay, and patch it. Um, like, we had to patch everything, right? Remember? Patch all the all of this. Like, look at, like, they did such an awful job with the demo. And it was ridiculous. Um, and I patch this because they just put this beam in after. So this is going to get two layers of five eighths, this beam, and I'm going to return it in here. Okay. And return it down here into there. And, um, same thing. The beams get two layers and the wall gets one. So I shot angle in the beam and I brought my wall out five eighths and five eighths. So that the first, uh, the late, the, like, First layer on the beam will go will go straight and it'll line up to the steel, and then second layer, or like the first layer of the the only layer on this wall will go straight up, straight up. It'll be nice and flush. You can see you line up your centers on your 16s from the walls above and below, 
Okay, you see how my centers line up? Okay, they're in the exact same. I just simply lasered it, lasered it down so that it was that they lined up in the same spot. You have to do that so many times, guys. So many times that the when guys are building walls, they don't they don't line up their studs properly, and it's such a pain in the butt. And that and that happens more times than you can imagine. So be a good framer. Make sure you're when you're building walls off at multiple levels that all your 16s, your centers line up. Um so yeah, then this becomes a little bit of a hallway vestibule. Um, right, so one layer of 5 eighths all the way around. Uh, we'll be putting in a door, a steel door here. Um, but yeah, like I, I kind of showed you guys this in the last live stream. Uh, if anyone has any questions, please ask me, okay? Uh, we had to move this wall here uh, because of this pipe. Okay, so it was, it was really easy for me to get an answer. I made a quick phone call and we came up with a plan. Uh, it's, it's hard because we have the overhead, uh, the uh, roof access. Hey, Dibs, Merry Christmas, buddy. How are you? Man, oh man, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna go home and play some GTA. Uh, we're not actually gonna work today because Lamb, uh, something happened, Lamb, somebody crashed into him and he smashed up his truck. So uh, we're not gonna work today. We're gonna come back tomorrow and actually work. Uh, but anyway, so um, I was, I'm going to build a, another build out for the stairs, for the, for the, for the ladder so that the ladder can go up to the roof, obviously. Right. So we just moved the wall over so that we can clear this pipe because this pipe was right where the wall had to go. Still suffering from overeating. Oh, right on. Right on, dude. <clears throat> <laughs> that's good did you have uh did you have a turkey man we actually we ordered chinese food uh, uh in on christmas actually it was awesome we uh we're like you know what well yeah, we're not cooking we're not doing anything um so we ordered uh we ordered chinese food it was the best it was the best <laughs> but um yeah man i i am I just yeah i had a really good time with the kids the kids were all just out of this world awesome and they were so excited and then um yeah it was it was awesome it was a good time <laughs> hey, Conaman! Merry Christmas, buddy. Pork on Christmas Day and turkey yesterday. Nice, double whammy. Nice, buddy. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, guys. So the ladder is over here on the ground. It was the ladder that was kind of going across here. You have Doom. Oh, you have Doom Eternal. Oh, dude, I got I got Doom Eternal. Does that mean we can play Doom Eternal together? Can we can we co-op on Doom? Sue got it for you. Oh, that's so nice, man. How's he doing? How is he? So it's it's like it's uh so anyway, so um just simply you just take a measurement because you want this to be um on the wall this this steel i don't know what what was all this about but this will come off and we'll build a build out for the ladder to attach those so you just have to measure the distance and you want the ladder to go up on the inside comfortably right he's busy well that's good that's good is he coming back is he coming back over here or is he staying in taiwan um, so yeah, you just want to make sure like, you know, uh, obviously the, the ladder is going to end up in there now. So, um, uh, but anyways, I'm going to build a build out for it. Okay. And then we'll put plywood in there for backing and stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, so this stuff here is important because uh, we do a lot of fire rating, a lot of this stuff because of this is like a tenant. So this, 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 this space here, these two floors used to be all one building like one unit and now they're going to uh, lease it out as two units so we need to separate there has to be fire separation between the two units to get your occupancy right um this here is a future elevator okay an elevator and this is all in the one unit so we will um uh, just do one layer of five eights oh he's coming back to the west coast oh nice Nice. That's good. That's my time zone. Well, it's, it's closer to my time zone. 
Um, I, I can't wait, Dad. We guys, we will, we'll all hook up and play some games. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I'm gonna fire rate these beams. Um, down there's a six inch wall that gets two layers of five eights on either side. That will. Uh, we're also gonna be building a, another. No way, your brother Peter has has. Ha, oh, right on. Oh, dudes, we got a co-op. Cause it's it's a really hard game, it, and I and and I get and I'm so, I'm really frustrated with it because I can't get past this one spot. Um, it's actually a really hard game, um, so a co co oping would be the best, man. Would be the best. Um, but yeah, so uh, next this this week I'm going to be framing this stairwell out as well. So it's a little bit higher, but we'll be framing this one out. I will go live when I'm laying it out. Okay, when I'm actually snapping lines. I'll bring a tripod and I'll just set up my camera or my phone on it and we'll, I'll, I'll walk you through the steps of exactly how I laid it out, okay? Um, and I, like I was saying, the, the drawings on this were really small and hard to read, so, so how was your uh, Christmas, Koneman? How'd you guys make out? But I can, I'll be able to give you guys a bit of an idea of, of how I get the layout from the drawings. Um, this this um, this drawing does not have the the new the new framing part, so they got to send me that the update. But uh, yeah, because of, uh, as of this one, we have. I'm glad it's over. Oh yeah, I, I am too. Actually, you know, like it's just so much, right? With all the kids and everything, it's a lot. So we built this. Yeah, no, it's okay, Dibs. Uh, we built we built this one, and when we've built this, we just uh, it has to be drywalled. This this does doesn't get plywood anymore, so um, it's gonna look kind of funny. I would have I would have set the 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 back wall in like on the main floor in five eight so that we'd have a flat a, like a flush finish, but that's not gonna happen. Uh, but yeah, you can see here uh, that's the ladder right there. So now we're going to build a build out for the ladder to go on. And in a, in a stairwell like this, guys, in a fi anything fire rated, you can never, ever move the walls closer together. Okay. Always farther away. Cause uh, there's probably, there, there's always, there's fire code. Okay. And um, you need to have a minimum distance in the, in between the, these two walls. Okay. And you have to have a minimum here. So never move it in. Okay, you always want to move it further out if you need to move the wall, right? And yeah, so then this is the downstairs one here. We built that little wall and a soffit right there. Um, I can give you guys some more detail on that, actually. <clears throat> the, the idea is to just always make sure the drywall has backing, okay? You you have to as a framer envision the vision the drywall going on and envision the, the the finish you know yeah see we still got to build a bulkhead around that beam too okay um, but I'm gonna get more bakers I'm gonna get bakers set up in here baker scaffolding um, I'm gonna get like four bakers and we'll I'm gonna show you how to set up the bakers too for the stairwells properly okay so we're, we'll show you how to set up the scaffolding the bakers. Hey man, how's it going? Very cool. Hello. I wish I don't. I don't know how to say your name, but uh, uh, good day to you. How is it going? Um. So in order here. So basically, what we do, Anton. Okay, cool, Anton. Excellent. So, uh, like I said, we, you lay it out on the ground first. Okay, you're gonna lay it out on the ground. From Discord, yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Very cool, man. Very cool. <clears throat> um, and then build it in. So you notice also, okay, um, up there, for example, on the bulkhead, standard track, top and bottom, okay, standard track, because we don't need slip track in there. We don't want slip track in there. We want standard track so it doesn't move, okay. You only need slip track when it goes floor to underside of structure, okay? So underside of structure would be a beam, the Q deck, which is the silver stuff, is the Q deck. Um, or like, uh, it could be a concrete, it could be a concrete slab. 
It could be plywood floor, a wood floor, whatever. Underneath the structure, okay, is where you use slip track. Um, and that's that slotted track. So, but yeah, you can see I added some steel at the end right here, okay, so that it's not all floppy floppy. And um, I, yeah, so usually you, you would make, you would go as tight as you can, use, use like furring bar or hat track and angle, um, because like, you know, this, this is just like, um, the drawbell is just gonna come straight in and finish here. It'll, it'll finish kind of like you see the steel here, okay? Um, and then we're going to, yeah, butt our drywall into that. So um, if you're gonna use the three and five eight studs and you can just lay them flat, like I just did like that, it's perfectly fine. Um, that's 20 gauge steel, so I don't need any bracing, okay? It's not a big, a big, big space either, so I don't need any bracing. But what we do is, so I get the top track in, top track that, I'll, I'll do the framing, okay, get this, get this full, full stud in, all right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop this bulkhead down, okay, I'm going to build, build this bulkhead, and then uh, when the bulkhead's done, I will track it, okay, I'll put the track going, sorry, I'll put the track going this way, and the track, the track, go, track going this way, and then I'll put the studs in. Um, and then when the studs are, after the studs are in, then I straight bar. I straight bar the, across for this angle, the end angle here. Okay, I'm gonna straight, straight edge across and mark it. You can see I just gotta mark there and I mark at the top. Okay, so that the angle is, st is straight. And then I will, at the end, I will straight bar this track as well. Okay, this last piece of track here, I'll, it'll get straight edged over secured and then i will laser in my stud marks okay and then yeah then put those studs in at the end um you don't have to use slotted track up there okay for the this little part but i like i said i just ran it full piece okay it doesn't matter it, it, and that is perfectly fine because it's not going anywhere um a freestanding bulkhead though you don't want slot track at the top okay because then you have a potential of moving of it moving okay uh you don't want that right so this this here if you can see i screwed the this track in not through a slot but through the through the solid piece of track okay so i don't have that screwed in through the slot Yeah, I know. My, my, my cousin keeps sending me messages. It's getting annoying. It's going beep, beep, beep. I know. I, I forgot to put the do not disturb on. Sorry about that, guys. Um, and then, yeah, then that's done, right? This wall here, uh, you just basically go up as high as you can, right, to get your, um, like, you know, like, see how tight it is? I just lasered the elevation. I just lasered this elevation in, and, um, um, uh, yeah. Just put that wall in like that, right? But also here, no slot, no slotted track. Okay, this is standard track at the top and the bottom. And I used I used the Hilti, the DX351, to shoot this stuff in. Okay, I got I got concrete pins in the in the concrete, and I got steel pins in the in the steel up there. You can see every like 12 to 16 inches, there's a shot. Okay. Uh, over here, same thing. I just you just carry it underneath the beam and over, okay? Because you need backing in there for the drywall. Um, and then yeah, I got the columns covered there. All the beams will be covered. Um, we're gonna start patching this stuff. Yeah, the GX120 is an awesome gun. My, it is actually my favorite one. Uh, the, the 120 is my favorite Hilti gun. I love it. Um, I got the 351, but um, I, I love the 120 because of the, 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 the small nozzle, the, the nose, right? It's longer and it's small. You can get that thing into anything, like into any space. Um, I, it's my favorite gun for sure. Um, and then I would say the, the 351 and then the 460. Uh, but the 460 is for like really heavy duty stuff. This patching is a is just is a disgrace though. These demo guys should be ashamed of themselves, guys. Not only did they not take out the screws, 
right? You see all the screws are still in there, but they couldn't, they couldn't cut a straight line. Um, the worst part of it is all they had to do was cut it at the beam. If they just cut it here at the beam, right? They didn't have to cut this big wide open space. They could have just cut it right at the beam, okay? And then all we would have done is just did a column, right? like a, we have to fire rate these, right? So um, when you're doing demo, like cut straight lines, okay? And at the very least cut, cut along the edge of a stud, right? Like cut, cut, along, cut down along the edge even so that we can put another stud facing or a piece of angle facing or something, you know, something that we can uh, work with. Like this here is ridiculous because now we got to do it this twice, right? Now we got to do this twice and the owner's paying us to do it twice. The, the BX3, um, I, I like the BX3 because it's really quiet, but I don't, I don't have enough experience with it yet to really give a full opinion on it. Uh, I've only used it on a couple of jobs, but I, 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 did, I liked two things about the BX3. The quiet, it was very quiet, and two, um, uh, it, there, like, it, there wasn't a lot of recoil. It was it just like boop, 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 right? So um, there, it, 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 was, it, was, it was good for that sort of thing. Yeah, you shoot more than 10K. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we put a lot of shots in, and some jobs, like, um, I don't get, like, a lot of those bigger jobs anymore because I, like, working, being on my own, uh, I don't get those big, big contracts like you do when you're working for a big company, you know? Um, but, yeah, oh, man, there's some jobs I've, like, man, just, like, you're shooting for, like, two weeks straight, just two weeks, like, you're just shot after shot after shot, shooting clips in and stuff, right? <laughs> yeah, so that is another point, too, Dibs. <laughs> it would be cheaper... It would be cheaper to take all of the drywall off and just replace it than what they did here. They, they should have just taken all the drywall off and did a nice clean job. But I need, but because now, like for example, like this here, I'm just gonna cut, I'm just gonna cut a big square, okay? And patch it all in at once. Hey, Sammy, what's up my man? Good to see you, buddy. Uh, look at the size of this, whoa, what is this? Do you see what I'm seeing, guys? What is this? What in the heck is that? That, I have, that is crazy. What the heck is this? This is steel, like a, like it looks like it's like a track, but it's so, it's like, I think they used bottom track on the bottom, like the old style of slip track. <laughs> That is crazy. Uh, good stuff, Sammy. Yeah, I saw your stream last. Was it last night? I was on your stream. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> because yeah, like all this little patching and stuff, guys. Like, um, like I'm gonna have to take out all of this crap, and I'm gonna end up having to coat this whole wall. Like this whole wall will have to get skim coated now. So it's gonna cost the owner three times more than if he would have just taken out the drywall, okay? At least three times more. So don't be, don't be uh, cheap when you're doing demo, okay? And, it, and, it, and if you're talking to an owner, just tell them straight up. Don't be, don't be stupid, man. This is going to cost at least three, four times more than it should have because they didn't take out all the drywall, okay? Because now not only did they pay somebody to go and cut this the first time, now they're paying me to go and cut it again but cut it right, because I got to cut it straight, you know, um, and I'm and I'm going by the hour for this, and that's not cheap. That's not cheap. So uh, they're going to be paying. They're going to be paying. Um, this will cost them a couple thousand bucks for me to fix this wall. Okay, a couple thousand bucks, and and it would have only costed them, you know, uh, a couple hundred if if we just got the drywall and did it new. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Probably more than a couple hundred, but uh, the drywall is getting more expensive now. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just, just not, not, this is ignorant, right? Uh, and up there too, we got to straighten that line out. Um, yeah. So anyways, this whole, this space here will be, a, will be one unit and then upstairs will be the next unit. Um, you can also see too, like they left all kinds of stuff, like, you know, like they left, they didn't even demo everything. Like even the walls we built, 
we had to spend time taking taking uh, old track and stuff down, right? Uh, but yeah, let's see if I can go up here. So this wall is flush. Um, it, it was supposed to have plywood on it, right? And then two layers of 5 eighths down here. But they deleted the plywood. And I was like, hey, well, the wall's already built. Uh, but uh, otherwise, I would have set this track back 5 eighths. So that when I did my second layer down here, it would have went straight up. But... Hey. That's yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 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 you bet. No, it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's it's freezing out there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Was that door open? Oh weird. It's, no, no, it's okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine, that's fine. You guys get warmed up. Hey Diego, what's up, man? Good to see you, man. Good to see you guys. All right. And then, yeah, this uh, uh, this stairwell here, like I said, we'll be doing uh, sometime this week because then we get the materials in. Uh, but yeah, yeah, and then we'll patch up this stuff. And but yeah, you can see it's such a wonky job on the demo, <laughs> right? Like they left all this track in, and if you guys see, like this is the old old system, okay, of slip track for deflection. Okay, they had a like a wider wider track, and uh, then they'd insulate it, and then there'd be another track they'd put inside. Oh, you're working in Brazil, nice. Man, I'm jealous, I'm jealous. <laughs> it's minus like 40 here today, it's crazy cold. Uh, but yeah, you can see in there, there's the, the two tracks, that's the old style, right? And then you would have slip, uh, but you couldn't put, um, you couldn't put um, screws in, in the top track, right? Uh, unless you, um, like you had to, it was crazy. You, we had to mark it and like, oh yeah, it was such a pain to do it that way. And you can see they used the old RAM set. That's the old RAM set. Um, but yeah, guys. Oh, that's great, Brazil, man, man. Oh, that's, that's awesome. I get, you don't see a lot of this, eh? <laughs> lots of snow look at all that yucky crap and it is cold like it is cold guys like so so cold actually i should kill the lights now i'm gonna i'm gonna start packing out i'm not gonna stick around after uh lamb's uh, uh lamb like i said he got his he got his car or his truck sorry smashed up i'm worldwide baby yeah we got we got russia england Brazil, Canada, and the United States, all right here in the, in the chat right now. <laughs> that's crazy, eh? Yeah, man. So that's Brazil, uh, Russia. Oh, are you in Russia or did you? Yeah, you work at the embassy in Moscow, right? Um, but yeah, like, you see, uh, scaffolding is... <clears throat> scaffolding is a huge thing. So we're going to build a big scaffold in here. I'm not going to do the drywall. Um, I got uh, another drywall crew coming to do that. I said, I'll frame it and I'll tape it, but I'm not drywalling it. <laughs> but um, that's so cool. Yeah, we're worldwide. We are worldwide. That's so, I love that about this. Uh, the, the, like, man, just get people from all over. It's the best. It's absolutely the best. And there's certain, like, there's different code. And, like, kind of depending on your geographical location, like, there would be certain code. And um, um, uh, there's also, like, just different ways of doing things. In Krasnoyarsk. That's cool, man. I love, uh, like, I was um, watching, uh, uh, like, World War II in color, you know, on Netflix, the uh, documentary series. Oh, man, just crazy. I, I, I just, man, oh, man, uh, the, how, how um, Russia fought Japan was just an amazing, man. The, the Battle of Stalingrad, Stalingrad, sorry, 
man, just crazy cool. Crazy, not cool, but like, um, just, yeah, like, just wild, like, the way that we used to fight like that, eh? Like, I mean, we still have fight, but we'll never see war like that again, I don't think. Not with all the technology, but man, oh, man. Um, hey, Amaran, what's up, buddy? What's live? Monday morning. You know it, dude. You know it. It's minus 25 on the street. So, yeah, it's cold there, too. Yeah, you guys get, you get cold weather in Russia. Um, but yeah, so also too, like when you're, when you're fire rating, you got to also take into consideration, you got to also, uh, fire rate these flutes. Okay. So you see the insulation, it, those are called flutes and, uh, you'll have fire cocking and, and whatnot, right? Yeah. You only type, <laughs> type that <laughs> to pronounce it. That's right. <laughs> right on dudes, right on. Well, so, very cool, man. What kind of projects you guys got going on right, right now? I gotta grab all the gear. I'm gonna bring my drill. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go back and I, I bought a, I finally bought a, I bought a, one of those Husky, Husky shelves from uh, Home Depot the, uh, for my studio. And it's awesome. It's so huge and heavy duty. Oh my God. I was going to buy the big $300 one, but it was just so big. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. USSR. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's right. I remember. I remember. Um. I need to put up a clock. <laughs> right on. So these here are the Hilti pins. We got uh, this. I use the green tabs basically for everything. Uh, the green's the best. The, the nice thing about the 351 is I can turn up and down the, the strength, okay? Um, these clear are for shooting onto steel, okay? So that's steel to steel. And then we have, there's, I don't know if I have, uh, where's my other ones? There's the black ones here. These are for, these are for steel to concrete. Okay, the black, black ones here are steel to concrete. And then we can also uh, hammer drill, uh, hammer drill and pin track down uh, to the concrete with these pins, okay? Now these, these, we call these, um, um, I don't know, people call them smack, smack pins or pin bolts. But whenever you're, whenever you're doing something onto CMU, they're the best, okay? You can see they're, they're actually the best. Was that an adjustable straight edge? What do you mean? <laughs> an adjustable straight edge. Oh my goodness, like a level on the floor? Um, T-bar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Yeah. Uh, where is that? Yeah, right here. Yeah. So this is the T-square that I use because you can get angles and, and, and stuff with it, right? But yeah, uh, this one here is great because it is adjustable, yeah. Uh, this is my favorite one because I can get like angles and stuff pretty easily with it. You can adjust, obviously slide this down. Um, and yeah, you square over your, your angle cuts and stuff like that. This, this one's great for, for, uh, for drywall. Um, it's heavy duty. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can, you can do a lot with that one. I like it. Get all your angles with it. But yes, that's an adjustable uh, T-square. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. Um, but, uh, yeah, boys. Okay. What else do I need? I needed something else. Okay. I found that. I don't need that. Don't need that. I think I'm good. Actually. I'm just going to grab my impact, but, uh, Oh man, 
so yeah, we're uh, we're not gonna actually work today. Like I was saying, Lamb got into a into an accident. His truck got smashed up. So we're gonna and it's really cold. So we're just gonna come back tomorrow. Um, but I didn't ever see putting up. I don't ever see you put it, putting up framing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you could do it, I'm sure. <clears throat> but yeah, man, this is this is super heavy gauge. This is like a 16 gauge here. That's uh, with the structural flange. So you can, when it's wide like this, you can tell like they have a structural flange. The this the thinner ones are just normal, but the, those are special order, eh? Yeah, these are all special order studs. You can see like the big flanges here too. Yeah, those are structural. Those are actual structural. <clears throat> it's weird seeing wood stairs though. Usually they're uh, steel and concrete, you know? Um, but yeah, like same thing here, like all this patchwork here, like like none of it's cut straight. Like it's just ridiculous. Like just, I don't know, man, what they're thinking, but <laughs> man, oh man. Um, yeah, I'm gonna make sure. <clears throat> And then this is the semi-rigid, semi-rigid insulation, okay? So rock sole or thermofiber or whatever. Um, R14 is for your two by four, okay? Or your three and five eighths. And we got R22.5 for the six inch, okay? So normal uh, bad insulation is only R20, uh, but the semi-rigid is uh, 22.5. And, and then uh, for... Uh, regular bat insulation on uh, three and five eighths or two by four is going to be R12. Okay, normally it's R12. Okay, but because it, the semi rigid is, it's got a higher uh, fire rating. Oh uh, yeah. <sighs> but <clears throat> all right, man. Holy cow! I've already been live for forty minutes. That's crazy. That's crazy. <clears throat> oh, shoot. Um, do, do. Yeah, I'm the only one here today. Yeah. Uh, uh, Lamb, Lamb, Lamb was here, but he, um, he, he some guy was uh, smashed into his truck. Uh, last night and, and smashed uh, like a, and two other cars. It's crazy. He caught it on video because um, uh, it, it was parked out front of his house and he's got cameras. So uh, it was crazy. I was, I was watching it. I, I couldn't believe it. The guy was driving backwards, backwards. And, he, and he, you, don't, you don't see, all of a sudden you see this truck doing at, le at least like 60, at least 60, driving backwards down the sidewalk and then smashed into into Lamb's um, or into this Jeep that was behind Lamb's truck, smashed Lamb's truck into the car in front of him. So there's this guy wrecked three cars. <laughs> so it was pretty crazy. All right, but guys, I'm actually just locking up to get out of here. I'd offer you a ride, but you won't fit. I only I only have room for one person in my van. <laughs> it's full of shit. So, oh, of course, man. Yeah, you bet. You bet. Yeah, sorry, I can't offer you a ride. I, I would, but I, it's full of crap, and I, I won't be able to get you guys in there. <laughs> yeah, you bet, you bet. We're lucky that you actually just happen to be here. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's cool. I dig it. Man, try to stay warm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like it's not a far walk, we can make it. No. Yeah, it, it's cold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. you betcha, guys. You betcha. You too. Uh, time to post. Are you posting? Oh, nice. Time to post, eh? Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, the poor guys were walking out there in the cold. Oh my goodness. Um, it is a cold. Oh wait, this this is something not right with this door here. Oh, okay, it's locked. Um, but uh, that must not must not have been shut properly. So yeah, these these poor 
poor guy, um, guy and his girlfriend here are just walking outside and there's no stores or anything around here. It's all in like a commercial industrial area. And they saw the lights on. So they like, they came and like, hey, can we get warm? I'm like, hell yeah, you can. I'm like, shit, I'm sorry. I, I would even drive them somewhere, but I like my van's full of shit. I'd only able, be able to get one person in there. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm locked in and I'm staying in the night. Not me, the car hit. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I was thinking that. I was thinking about that. I want them to send me the, the footage so I can post it because it's, it's insane. Like, you, you would not believe it unless you saw it, for real. Like, it's crazy. I, I just, like, the guy had to have been drunk or high. Like, you know, he said that he was, like, he, um, he hit the gas pedal by mistake instead of the brake or something. Like, come on. Come on, man. Like, not the guy was going so fast. It was crazy. So I'm going to get that video from Lamb and I'll post it. Yeah, that'll be hilarious. The, the good thing is nobody was in the car, so nobody got hurt. And the, the guy driving, he was driving a big Toyota Tundra, and he didn't have insurance. He didn't, he doesn't have insurance either. So um, well, who the frick drives a, 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 a nice brand new Tundra without insurance, right? Like, oh my God. Like, you know, so the, I'm like, oh, Lamb, you have to call the cops, man. And so the, he did call the cops last night, but they told him it was too cold. They're not coming. <laughs> so we were, we were here this morning and he got a call saying that, that the cops were coming. So he's like, oh, I, he, so I says, yeah, yeah, just go. We'll come back here tomorrow and we'll work tomorrow. It's, 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 it's too cold, man. Uh, we could have worked, but um, uh, we, we're, we're allowed to take uh, Monday or Friday off um anyways so i was like yeah whatever we'll just take and take today and <laughs> we'll come back tomorrow and 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 give her so um and then yeah i got time to do a nice long live stream here with you guys um so the edmonton cops are pussies yeah right yeah yeah it's good it's like what they said they weren't gonna come because it was too cold i'm like that's crazy man that's crazy it's like there's um he he um he took it to uh Oh, I don't know. I wonder if it was last night or the night before. I cuz he somehow got a quote already from the body shop and it was $8,000 in damage. $8,000. I'm like, "Holy shit. If it's more than $1,000, then you then you have to call the cops, right?" So I was like, "Oh my god, this is freaking crazy, man. This poor lamb. That's awful." Okay, I'm trying to find my coffee. Oh, I know where it is. I know where it is. Yeah, Kona, man, you have a most excellent, wonderful day. Um, let's see if I can get a live stream for tonight going. I, I'd like to do a, like a nice, fun live stream for my studio tonight if I can. Um, I'll, I'll try to schedule that and uh, get, the, get the notifications out early. But if anyone has any questions about framing or layout, please ask them. You can ask them now live or you can, or you can uh, leave them in the, in the comments below. And I'll, I'll make sure to address the, I, I try to get all the questions ahead of time before I go live, and so I can answer them. Um, yeah, while well, I'm live, obviously, right? So that's that for today. But um, we'll be back again. Like I said, I'm going to go live every day on this job, just to, just to show you guys the progress and, and uh, um, just, to, just, to, just to, to test it out. <laughs> So, oh yeah, I can show you my lasers for sure. So I always use Hilti lasers. Um, the PMP 2LG is my favorite line laser. Um, and I use the Hilti rotating laser and the Hilti plum lasers. But right now I'm using this Dewalt because my, my Hilti line laser got stolen my, my Hilti line laser got stolen. Uh, so now, here, I'll show you. I, all, I use all the Hilti. I got the 5,000 and the 4,500. Uh, I got the saw. My router is Hilti. <laughs> uh, where's my... Here's the... Here's the shotgun for shooting the track to the concrete and steel. And yeah, so I'm using this one, okay, for my line laser right now, this Dewalt. 
it's not bad. It's pretty good. It's just like, it's not a, it's not as a fine of a line as the Hilti, but it's, it's pretty good. And then I got, uh, then I'm using this. It's always good to have at least two of these. Okay. So this is the PM two P which is the plum laser. So it's good to have a couple of plum lasers and, and a line laser um, just for various things. So I have another, like a, I have also have another Bosch laser too. Um, but uh, yeah, those are the ones I've been using lately. So, oh, excuse me. Uh, and then yeah, my chop saws, the Dewalt, um, my pouch. Somebody asked me about my pouch. I got this is the Cadillac uh, tool tool pouch. I got the Cooney's padded suspenders and the Cooney's padded belt. And then this is a this is the Cooney's uh, uh, four pocket. I would love to have the, the, the five, the leather Cadillac five pocket, but I'm trying to find one of those. I'm going to get a new uh, screw pouch soon. Cause this, this here has got holes in it. Right. So, uh, it's not very good <laughs> anymore, but yeah, that's my, and then this is like a backup uh, screw hook. Cause my other one fell apart. Uh, but I don't like this one. I do not like this screw hook. I do not recommend it. Do not get that one. It's awful. <laughs> It continuously gets hooked on stuff. When I'm climbing ladders or bakers or scaffolding, it always gets hooked on the pipes on the in the bars. So it's quite annoying. And then yeah, there's the the Latoul Parfait taping kit kits, I should say. Um, my mixer drill is the Makita. Right, I got a lot of Makita tools. I have a lot of Makita tools. Yeah, wait till my kids start using. I know, I know, right? I, 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 I do, I do need a, I do need a, a, a metal lockbox. So Lamb has a metal lockbox, and uh, it's like a, it's like a half size one. So we use that. We do use that one, but um, most of the time, like, like if I, if we don't do those big, big jobs anymore that you need really need them on, um, but. I should probably get a get a big full size one to bring on the jobs because it just to keep everything organized and, and in one place would be good. Um, but yeah, so that's that, guys. I want to wish you all a good day, and uh, we'll see you guys very very soon. Um, yeah, I'll go live again really soon, guys. Yeah, for my expensive stuff even. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, but my, my thing is like, you know what? If you're going to steal my tools, then go all the power to you. And I was like, I don't, I'm not encouraging it, but I'm like, you know, you, get, you, need, them, you, know, you need them more than I do, I guess. Um, I would just be like, yeah, okay, that's my excuse. Sorry, I don't got any tools. See ya. I'm <laughs> uh, just kidding. No. Um, but yeah, we make sure everything's pretty secure. We don't just leave them lying out. Like I have the keys to this site and I'm the only one that has them, right? So I'm the only one who can come come and go. And uh, most of the jobs we do, we have key, the keys for them now, right? So or there's lo a lockbox for the key. So they're, it's pretty secure. I don't really have to worry about anything. Um, but yeah, you want to make sure your stuff is secure. When my line laser was stolen, I actually left it on site. Remember, Dibs? Uh, it was that, that one winter. I left my uh, left it on site, and um, I came back like two days after Christmas to try to find it, and it was gone. So that was disappointing. Whew, it's cold. It is so cold, man. Uh, that's too bad. I wish I could have given them guys a ride. Damn it. Alrighty, where's the keys for this place now? All right, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna be working in the studio. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm gonna try to play some video games, man. Maybe we can play some Doom. But um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's up, and um, I'll be live again, definitely from site tomorrow. Um, but like I said, I'll try to get live tonight again. Let me make sure these doors locked because that's creepy. I, those guys shouldn't have been able to get in. That means it might not, or unless Lamb unlocked it. <clears throat> uh, 
But um, yeah, guys, and then we should do like a New Year's party, like a New Year's stream and for New Year's Eve and stuff. Um, you know, I'm excited, guys. I'm gonna be doing a lot more, lot more streams from the studio. Um, so um, yeah, yeah, that's that, guys. Everyone have a fantastic, wonderful day, and um, we'll see you soon. Bye for now, everyone. <laughs> Stay warm. <laughs> I know you're warm in Brazil. <laughs> Bye, guys, and in Florida. <laughs> Hashtag jealous. <laughs>